hello guys welcome back to this youtube channel if you are a new viewer thank you so much for tuning into our channel today and then if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for always coming back and supporting our channel we appreciate you so much in our channel we basically share information about scholarships how to apply for scholarship currently available scholarship and how to navigate some of the challenges you may get when it comes to applying for international scholarship for those that don't know me my name is jude and um, I am a current Erasmus Mundo student studying public health in disaster in Europe. And um, in today's video, we'll be talking about fully funded international scholarship in Finland for international students. And um, if you have any question about any part of this video, always do well to put it on the comment section and I'll be there to respond to you no matter how busy I may be. And um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, use this opportunity to subscribe and also click on this notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video about a new scholarship. Without wasting much of our time, let us get straight into the business of today. Welcome back guys. So today we are in Finland talking about fully funded scholarship in Finland. So the Finland scholarship is currently open and then this scholarship uh, is funded by the Finland government. So the scholarship accepts um, students for master's degree program in Finland. And um, if you are coming from outside the European Union, outside Europe, you are eligible for this scholarship. Okay. And then um, the scholarship covers your full tuition fee. So whatever is the tuition fee, it covers it completely and then um, gives you a relocation grant of uh, 5,000 euros as a minimum. See that 5,000 euros as the minimum. Many of the scholarships uh, in the universities for different universities have other extra, uh, extra funding they can give to you for your second year. And um, some of them actually extend the tuition fee to the second year. Why some of them don't extend the tuition fee to the second year? We are going to discuss about this throughout this video. And um, these are some of the participating universities for this scholarship. So we have the Auto University, we have the University of Helsinki, the University of Eastern Finland, and um, the University of uh, Abu Kadami University. Every program in this university is here will be taught in English language, okay? So you don't have to worry about the language of instruction. Then we also have um, the Finland Doctoral Fellowship. So if you are applying for PhD, this scholarship is also available for you. In Finland, PhD students do not pay tuition fee at all. Only master students pay tuition fee, especially if you are coming from outside the EU. And this scholarship is available for students that are coming outside the EU. And um, since you'll be receiving um, free tuition waiver, you also be receiving a monthly stipend, okay? And um, which includes a 2,000 euro arrival grant. So as you come into the country as a doctoral student, you receive 2,000 euro arrival grant, and then you'll be paid monthly stipend at the end of every month as a PhD student, okay? This scholarship started in the year 2022, and the scholarship will end in the year 2024, okay? So it means that by next year, at the end of next year, this scholarship will no longer be available for application. So I encourage you to take this scholarship opportunity very serious and you should apply as soon as possible. So we we'll go straight into some of uh, the universities, the participating universities for this scholarship. They have different requirements and I will pick one or two uh, universities there and we we'll discuss some of their requirements and how to navigate before I continue, I want you to understand that the 5,000 euros they are going to give you per year is enough for your living expenses for one year in Finland as a student, okay? So you don't need to prove any fund at the embassy when you are applying for visa if you win this scholarship, okay? So the 5,000 euros is enough. So you can you just have to pay for your flight and then you move to Finland and start your studies in English. We are currently at the University of Helsinki website. For this scholarship, this is the eligibility criteria. So for you to be eligible for the scholarship, you have to be eligible for one of the master's program in the University of Helsinki. You have to be um, a tuition paying student in the sense that you are coming from outside the EU and you must meet the entry requirement for visa, of course. And then you must have an excellent result in your previous study as proven in your application, okay? On this page, 
you can see uh, this link where you see the master's program that is available at the University of Helsinki. Once you, once you click here, it takes you to this page where you see the master's program, international master's program that is available. So these are the several you know, faculties that is available in this university. So you have the faculty of agriculture science, uh, agriculture, environmental resource, economics, atmospheric science and the rest of them. Okay. So any of these programs that you are interested in, you apply for them and they are eligible for this particular Finland scholarship. So guys, the application is currently open at the University of Helsinki for this particular scholarship and um, the deadline is 3rd of January 2024 at uh, 3 p.m. Okay, so I encourage you to start your application as soon as possible. You have about four weeks from now to complete your application. So this program, like I said earlier, is done in English language. So um, we we'll look at um, some of uh, the criteria you can use to meet the English language proficiency uh, test. If you look at the University of Helsinki website, you will see that the, there are different criteria you can use to meet their English language requirement. You may need an IELTS, TOEFL, and all that. But the good thing there is that um, if you have a university degree completed in an English country, uh, so you see that if you have any of the degrees completed in an English country in the list below, you are exempted from submitting the English language requirements. And when you open the list of those countries, you can see so many countries there. And you can see there are so many African countries like Ghana is there, Cameroon is there, Nigeria is there, Rwanda is there, and there's so many of them, South Africa and Co. So you see that if you have any degree from any of these particular country, you are uh, exempted from submitting an English language um, test. Okay. So the, the application started December 1, 2023, and it will end 3rd of January 2024. Applying for this scholarship is very simple at the University of Helsinki. First of all, you find a very good master's program that uh, interests you and that you meet the eligibility criteria. You start your application. And the instruction to apply is always on each of the programs web page. Then, as you are applying for the master's program, you are also applying for the scholarship. It is embedded inside the application portal for admission. Then you submit all the requirements. And make sure that all your documents are in English language because this international master's program are in English language. So the selection process uh, will be very tough, of course, because uh, this is uh, uh, a very competitive uh, scholarship. Now, um, some people will get 50% tuition waiver, like they said here, and some persons will get 100% tuition waiver plus the 5,000 relocation grant. Okay, now uh, your admission letter comes with the scholarship. So, if you win the scholarship and they are giving you admission by January or February next year, you are also getting uh, your, your your letter for for the scholarship mm -hmm. embedded mm -hmm. inside your scholar your admission letter. Okay, so it's actually very competitive. They take only one person per department. So in any of the programs you are seeing there, they take one person. That is, we have 36 programs there. They will have 36 international awardees. These are some of the benefits you get when you win the Finland scholarship at the University of Helsinki. These benefits differ from school to school, okay? They will give you 100% um, tuition waiver if you win the full scholarship. And then you have student union membership fee. They also give you a student meal discount and uh, a reduction in public transport and um, some other things, okay? So that is it for uh, University of Helsinki. Let us check the Auto University to see some of uh, their information on this Finland scholarship. In the Auto University, you will see that the scholarship is also available. And um, on their website, uh, they stated clearly that the scholarship covers 100% tuition fee. And um, this scholarship also gives 5,000 euros for relocation allowance and other costs in the first year. Remember that in the University of Helsinki, they give this 5,000 euros for two years. So they give you 5,000 euros the first year and they give you 5,000 euros the second year. But at the University of Auto, they only give you this 5,000 euros in your first year only. And it's paid into your Finnish bank account and it's paid once. Okay. So how to apply for the scholarship? If you are an eligible candidate coming from outside the EU and you are applying for this scholarship, you are eligible. Now, the scholarship has started already and uh, I will show you their deadline. And the scholarship decision is given, if you are applying for the scholarship, 
you, are, you apply for the scholarship directly with the admission and your decision for the scholarship is given the same time with the admission so when you see admission letter you see whether you want the Finland scholarship or not and remember the tuition waiver is given for two years because the master's program in Finland is for two years so they give you free tuition waiver for the first year and free tuition waiver for the second year however the relocation grant will be given only once so the second year you are expected to to have funds to take care of yourself so you can easily have a student jobs in Finland because they speak English a lot too together with their Finnish language so English is a popular language in Finland so you'll be able to work in the second year and um, you'll be able to take care of your phone at the University of Alto this admission has started and it started November 30th 2023 and the deadline is January 2nd 2024 whereas at the University of Helsinki it will end January 3rd so you should know that the different universities have different um, deadline and different criteria for application so you should take note you should also know that the proof of english language proficiency at the university of Otto is different from that of the university of helsinki so you should take note that these are different requirements university of Otto will not waive the english language requirement if you have a degree from africa unlike the university of helsinki so these are the only method in which they will waive your english language requirement or in which you can meet the English language requirement. You have an academic IELTS, of course, you have a TOEFL, you have the Pearson test, the Cambridge Advanced Proficiency Test, or you studied in any of the universities in Finland, or you studied in these countries. We have the Australia, the Canada, New Zealand, South Africa. So South Africa is the only African country in the list of exempted country for this. We have Switzerland, United Kingdom, and US. So these are the only options in which uh, the only requirements you will have to meet the English language requirements at the University of Alto. So, the stated is here clearly on their website. The only the method listed above for proving English language proficiency are accepted. So, this is clearly stated on their website. So, I encourage you that um, you should check out other programs and you should check out other universities and uh, see their English language requirements before you start your application and be sure that you meet it. They stated it clearly here that applications without the required proof of english language proficiency will be rejected so if you submit your application here without proving that you have uh, met the requirement for english language proficiency your admission or your application will be rejected please take note so we have seen the university of um, helsinki and the auto university in finland so you can take time and check out all the universities and their requirement for this particular Finland scholarship and make sure you check their English language proficiency and um, their requirements also check um, the application deadline okay so that you apply as soon as possible and I also went through the website and there is no information about the number of applications you can make so you can actually apply to all these universities okay you apply for this university apply here apply here apply here once you see an eligible program that interests you okay so it increases your chances of getting the scholarship and um, for university of helsinki alone they collect one student per program so they have about 36 programs here like i said earlier so they will collect that six students for this fin finland scholarship so they will do the same for some other for other universities we don't know their numbers so it will be your duty to check them and um, apply so the more applications you make the more chances of you uh, getting one of these international scholarships so guys we have come to the end of uh, today's video if you have not subscribed to our channel please do well to subscribe now and um, if you like this content please do well to click on the like button if you have any question about the application process or the general admission process you can drop it on the comment section and um, i'll be willing to respond to your questions so guys, until I see you next time, remain healthy, remain fine, and keep chasing your dreams. Bye.